Hi, it's Carolyn Wainscott back here with uh, Hannah's Closet. This line of quick and easy reversible separates to be used in doll clothes. And today we're going to learn how to do the reversible vest. Here it's used as a top but cut in the crop top length. On this outfit the vest was used and then a long patchwork skirt put on it and uh, as you can see some gems and lace. This is also the vest cut short and a train added and sleeves. So these separates are really versatile. Here the vest was used and um, a panty added to it to create the, um, the leotard. little reversible vest to go with its shorts. Another little reversible vest to go with this pair of shorts and then reversible vest to go with the skirt. So let's get started with the vest. For the vest, the pattern's been downloaded and printed and I'm going to finish cutting it out. I have both pieces of fabric, the lining and the outer shell together and they are both folded. This vest pattern can be used as the vest. There are three different waist lengths you can go with a dropped waist an ampere waistline or the natural waistline for the dolls Try as much as possible to keep your fabric and pattern flat. These little pieces, it's hard. Take the pattern off and unfold your fabric. Place them right sides together. I'm going to start about a half inch away from the shoulder seam. And I'm using just about a quarter of an inch all around. And stop just about a half inch from the shoulder seam. Not going to sew the shoulder seam up just yet. Going to pop over to the armhole opening, start half an inch down, and sew all the way around. Stop at half an inch from the shoulder seam opening. Pop over to the neck opening. Go down half an inch. So the neck, stop a half inch from the shoulder and continue over to the other armhole opening. And give yourself that half inch space again. Need to clip into the curve all around on the uh, armhole openings. You'll do this for both of them. Continue on to the 
next seam line and clip into the curves and then to the other armhole and since these are such small pieces let's clip out some of this excess this is the bottom of the front I'm trimming out a little extra here so that will lay more nicely and now I'm going to turn this this is through the shoulder if you hear anything strange that's puppy girl this is my makeshift fabric turner thingy cardboard tube wooden dowel maybe one of these days I'll get an official turner so I'm going to work all of this out pull the shoulder seams up Take the wooden dowel back around and poke it a little bit. That's the sh shoulder seam. Well, it's not a seam yet. That'll be a shoulder. Pull up the neckline. Do low. And there's the four. So that's turned. And let's give it a press. The half inch was left at the shoulder seam so that we could sew the quarter inch seam allowance. We'll start with uh, the outside. And sew across. This is sewn and you can either hand finish this, I know to some of you that is a four letter word. Open the seam allowance. Turn in the seam. lay the lining down and bring the other side over and turn it under now if this were a really fine piece of clothing I would hand finish this since it's a piece of doll clothing and I want to get done I'm going to zigzag. With the thread that I have in there. And 
and stay stitch it to keep it in. So there you have your shoulder seam finished. You can put a decorative stitch on this. Oh, I personally like zigzag. It makes the vest reversible.